found a sweet deal for tickets to Egypt. And I can't lie, we're excited because this is one destination we've wanted to do for some time now. So we did what we always do. Go on YouTube and get ideas from other creators on activities we might be interested in doing while we were there. And that's when we came across this. Negative video after negative video, creators were being harassed, their camera equipment was being confiscated, no filming was allowed without explanation, the run-ins with the secret police, long story short, even after knowing all of this, we still went ahead with our trip with the intention to film. And looking back, there are a few negative things we did experience, which will be highlighted in this video. But with all of that being said, it's a beautiful country, the people are amazing. What you need to understand is Egypt has been going through political unrest over the past few years with the revolution in 2011. The country has not been the same since. With all that being said, we wanted to create a guide for anyone who's considering visiting this beautiful country. This is Things I Wish I Knew Before Visiting Egypt. We are Fairchild and Lynn, and we've made a pact to take our son Sebastian to every country in the world before the age of 18. And we decided to share our journey in hopes of inspiring others. You're watching Nomad Baby. As of 2023, certain passports do not require a visa to enter into Egypt, a US passport being one of them. There are some countries that require one to buy a visa from the bank at the airport when you land. And with all that being said, I'd still recommend you go online or call your local Egyptian embassy to know what your options are. Also, while you're buying a visa on entry, that's a great time to get local currency. Always use local currency. Hi guys, Future Me here. I just wanted to point out this part of our trip. At the airport, we did not record any video footage, just as a precautionary measure. So what we'll be doing at this point of this video is we'll be using general video clips that I found online to help continue to tell our story. All right, back to the video. At this point of our trip, we had made the decision to not film at the airport to ensure we were not breaking any rules we were not aware of. We found our bags, but could not find Seb's stroller. An airport official realized what we were looking for and pointed out to us where the strollers were being brought out from. We thanked him for his efforts. We began walking away and he followed us. Turns out he wanted a tip for his effort. We encountered this on a couple of other occasions. Even while seeking information from the airport tourism desk, a tip was requested. In fact, it was insisted upon. So, something to be aware of. You need a driver here. Trust me on this one. Listen, we have driven in almost every country we have been to, left and right side of the road. We've even driven in New York City. And driving in Cairo is stuff we had never seen before. hotel safely if there's one rule that should not be taken lightly when coming here is no drones are allowed in this country we came with minimal camera setup as a precaution and fortunately our luggage was not checked upon entry but what we soon realized was there was unexpected checkpoints everywhere we stayed at the Marriott Mena house in Cairo and this is a 40 acre campus overlooking the pyramids of Giza it was a perfect location because our pre-booked tour guide was able to simply pick us up from the hotel and drive us across the road to the Pyramids of Giza. This area is truly a sight for sore eyes and is regarded as one of the seven wonders of the world. Okay. Here comes the tough part. While exploring the pyramids, we had a lot of locals approach us wanting to sell us goods or services from curios to pictures to horse rides. We were frequently approached throughout the day. As frequent travelers, we are all for supporting the local economy wherever we go. But at times these offers were very forceful in nature, which is why pre-booking as much of your activities as possible will help somewhat circumvent this. 
We didn't get time to take a Nile cruise, but I've only heard good things about it. We moved around with our camera with no issues. However, we were intentional and avoided filming at areas like an airport or checkpoints or any other areas that looked like they may have government officials. And this was out of respect. But in some areas, we had no issues. I do realize that hasn't been the case for some, but all I can tell you is our experience. Honestly, we would love to be back to visit Luxor or any other areas outside of Cairo. Overall, this is a beautiful country. We met some amazing people. From our tour guide, local businesses we visited, and other locals we met here. All right, guys, this is future me speaking. Uh, so that's the video. I will admit our trip to Egypt, yeah, it was challenging. But, you know, looking back on this, Overall, our experience may have seemed like an annoyance to us, but what we were witnessing was clearly people in survival mode, trying to earn a little money to see another day. Clearly, there are deeper issues the country as a whole needs to figure out. If you're Egyptian, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you've been to Egypt, I would like to hear your thoughts or just anyone who has something to say. We created this video not to pass judgment, but to help others who may want to visit and also hopefully start important conversations that need to be had. All right, I'm off to bed. Uh, like and subscribe. Nomad Baby, signing out.